Hey, this is the Fine Nerd. Today we're going to talk about protection. Sometimes you get that uncomfortable burning or itching feeling, and you need something to cover your exposed skin and, on occasion, keep you infection-free. And that is where elbow and knee pads come in. What did you think I was talking about? When it comes to knee and elbow pads, buying the right pads comes down to what you are looking for. Resting knee pads are typically packaged with only one pad to protect the knee that does the drop for shooting and for takedowns, and are generally very bulky. But in mixed martial arts and submission grappling, there is a lot more time spent on both knees. So for that, you can get either basketball or volleyball pads, but those are often either too thin or too thick. Enter McDavid USA, in business making pads since 1980, and the company that we're going to talk about today. But talk is cheap, and we came to give these pads a beat down. So I decided I need to find a place to test these things out and see if they're actually worth trying out. And oh my god, it's Jamie Varner! Holy crap, what are you doing here at Varner's Combat Academy, Jamie Varner? I don't know what I'm doing here at Varner's Combat Academy. I was thinking about getting a workout in, but I thought I'd just walk around in my tights all day. That's what I do when I have my free time. <laughs> so I got some elbow pads and some knee pads today for you guys at the gym. So these are done by McDavid. These are the Hex Force Impact elbow pads. What do you think about these bad boys? They look pretty cool. They look like, uh, like scales almost. Pretty neat looking. Hmm. I like them. Like them so far? Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to get need by somebody wearing these pads, but they probably wouldn't, uh, probably wouldn't hurt to have them on your knees if you were doing some wrestling or some grappling. It's good that you mention that because we're going to try that out today with some of the boys here from Varner's Combat Academy. How appropriate. It makes sense because we got some good wrestlers and grapplers in here at Varner's Combat Academy. Shameless plug. Varner's Combat Academy, you said? Yeah, uh, combatacademyny.com. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, let's check out how these knee pads work in action. But first, some info on the products we're going to be testing today. We're going to take a look at two different pads here. The larger one is the Hex Force Knee, Elbow, and Shin Pad, and the smaller one is the Hex Pad Impact Knee and Elbow Pads. Both designs have individual hex-shaped pads that conform to your body for increased comfort and protection and are about 9 millimeters thick. Compression fabric holds the pad in place and implements something called Hydrovent HDC Moisture Management Technology, this patented process permanently bonds hydrophilic or water-attracting molecules to synthetic fiber surfaces, which translates to these pads remaining intact after numerous washes while also absorbing moisture off the parts that are covered, which allows for faster evaporation and drier skin. The Hexforce pads come in scarlet red, royal and navy blue, white and classic black, and sell for 25 bucks, while the Hex Pad Impact pads come in black and sell for 20 bucks, and both of these items are sold in pairs. Now, that's a ton of science talk, but the only way to really see if they work is to test them out. And the boys at Jamie Varner's Combat Academy in New York were more than up for the task, trying both types of pad in all sizes. So let's gear up and test some pads. I put them on first time today, trained with them a little bit. Uh, the knee pads felt pretty good. Um, you don't really know that they're even there, which I like. It's definitely uh, comfortable, it's easy to work with, it's easy to put on, um, they're very thin so that's probably why you don't feel like they're there, you know, and they're very cushiony, so it's nice to be able to move on the mat without that bulky type feeling there. Uh, they went on nice and uh, they barely feel like they're on the whole time when I was training actually, it's just not even noticeable. It's good material where uh, they won't hold sweat and they kind of help you breathe a little bit so there's not that constant rub as you feel too opposed to like a neoprene pad that I usually use. Well putting these pads on definitely felt good. Uh, you know it wasn't that heavy bulky material just slid right on. It's pretty nice. Um, what I like about them is that they feel snug but they don't feel over tight as usually my other elbow pads and knee pads. They feel, they feel extremely tight and they actually prevent me from bending my elbows and my knees the way I like to. So these were actually very good with that. Uh, the pads didn't move at all. They were pretty firm. They're great to have. As far as grappling and takedown, uh, everything was good. Um, movement, you know, knee, uh, the pads weren't dragging off my legs or anything like that. I didn't feel no scrapes or rugs on it when I was running around, so ultimate good. And the takedowns felt real smooth and easy. Uh, kind of felt like nothing was there, you know, but there's no rash. You know, you're not getting anything on your knee while you're getting like that mat burn. It felt great. Again, it just didn't even feel like they were on. You know, I didn't notice, but... Uh, when I go home at night and I go take a shower and after I get out of uh, the shower and I check my knees when I usually don't have something covering them, they'd be red and, you know, scrapes, which uh, would allow infection, which is not something you want in the gym with this kind of close quarters combat. They actually stay pretty pretty intact. I thought they'd, I thought they'd actually 
be around my ankles. So usually my other ones do that. Ground and pound was definitely good. Um, again, stability, you know, was getting no burns and everything. I'm trying to work a sweat out over here, so, you know, part of the burns is when I'm scraping my knees. But overall protection they did on me, so it was pretty good. I was blasting away and didn't get cut, no blood, no bruises, no nothing. They're pretty firm for the most part, they're like Under Armour. So they just kind of stick to the skin, I like that. It felt great, man. Um, hopefully, uh, if I ever have to wear them in a fight and uh, they don't. Uh, provide too much padding so I could still uh, get the job done. For that price, I'd say uh, they're definitely worth it. You know, they're going to keep you um, doing what you normally do without all the stupid injuries. Definitely got me sold. I'd recommend them and uh, I'm glad I uh, have a pair now. And David. So what's the final verdict? Our five for fighting seemed to really enjoy the pads. They did not shift, absorbed the sweat well, and were very comfortable from the small to large sizes. There were absolutely no complaints from any of our testers, really, which is a first for the fight nerd. With pads, though, it does come down to wear and tear and longevity, but these pads seem very durable and are some of the best designed pads I have seen. If you want to learn more about these pads or buy a pair for yourself, head to mcdavidusa.com. And if you'd like to learn more about Jamie Varner's Combat Academy, head to combatacademyny.com. I am the fight nerd. Thanks for watching, and good luck shopping. This video is sponsored by FindMMAGym.com. Looking for a new place to train? Head over to the best online directory for MMA gyms across the U.S. FindMMAGym.com.